In 1955, the first Waffle House was opened by Joe Rogers Sr. and Tom Forkner in Avondale Estates, Georgia. Since its original founding, the chain has opened almost 2,000 locations across 25 states and has become a staple of Southern culture. But rather than being famous for its food or service, the chain has become infamous for other reasons. There have been more fights at Waffle Houses than the entire history of the Roman Colosseum. Police are investigating this fight between two Waffle House employees. Take a look. It's a tweet that has gone viral, a brawl at a Waffle House. Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? Uh, how long have you been eating at Waffle House? Ooh, uh, as long as I can remember, honestly. I mean, it's, it's like one of those places that you know is open 24 hours of the day. One of my friends' traditions with me is we'll, we'll go to Waffle House after because we don't feel like going to Wingstop and Waffle House, there's always going to be a show, regardless, for good or, good or bad, it's, it's going to be a little entertaining. So, first off, uh, how long have you been eating at Waffle Houses? Uh, well, I moved to Georgia in 08, so probably around then, because my family used to do it all the time when we were little. And back then, it was still like a breakfast place to us. <laughs> Do you have any traditions at all when it comes to Waffle House? Uh, not currently, but I used to back when I was in high school because uh, I did theater for four years. And the tradition was initially to go to Steak and Shake after um, the last show. The Steak and Shake near us closed, but there were like three Waffle Houses in the area, so... We just took our pick. It was always funny because we would just show up, like half of us were in full makeup and costume, others were completely normal, and then we had like the tech kids who were all dressed in black. And <laughs> we did some weird shows, so there'd be like some serious makeup going on. It wasn't just like glam or any of that. It was face paint. <laughs> we went to Waffle House at like 2 a.m. one time, and there was this guy in there uh, when we walked in, he already had like the entire place, uh, everyone in it, including the staff. They were all laughing really hard because he was cracking jokes. He, he just started telling us about his life. Uh, he told us that he was a lawyer um, and that his wife I owned, I think it was a bar. He talked with us for a while and then eventually he uh, f finished his order and he paid for our food as we saw him drive off in a Porsche. We met like a Greek god or something in that Waffle House. Uh, do I have traditions with Waffle House? Uh, short answer, yes. Long answer, um, late night, midnight food runs with friends in freshman year. That was a tradition. Hey, you're hungry, I'm hungry. There's a Waffle House down the street, let's go. And my motto is always getting to know the people that people wouldn't normally know. Even if it's like you're not on the first name basis, you should get to know your cafeteria workers, your janitors. Just like the everyday people who are just like serving you because it's like they're people too, you know? And a friendly face when you're working a 10 hour shift in the middle of a pandemic, it makes a difference, I think. Thank you. This is this has been perfect. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That was pretty good. Still going.